In this video, I'm going to show you how I walk up the stairs, but it's going to be a two-part because there's the two different approaches how I walk up the stairs. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is, um, again, because I can't lift my foot up directly, is I put this right foot over here, and then I just extend it. And I have my hand up here, and what I'm going to do is just push through that, push through my heel, push through the palm of my hand, and through the heel of my foot. And it's just now I just shift my weight from the left side of my body to the right, and then to just drag my left foot up, and then just kind of move it into a position where I can lock that foot, and then just kind of teeter my body up. A very important thing that I've kind of learned as I've been walking upstairs, and I haven't always walked like this, is um, you know this this idea of Instead of pushing at the banister, is I try to look past it to like something beyond there. And then what I do is I just take my hand and I just push it like I'm trying to reach beyond there. And it seems to work pretty well where I can just, you know, push my weight through. And I don't see like the immediate struggle of the banister. I'm just trying to, like I said, reach for something in the distance. So uh, in the past, I was able to do obviously different ways, but this is the best way. There's another way that I found that is pretty, is pretty interesting is that instead of just pushing if I'm struggling, is I'll try to swing my body forward to gain a little bit more room and then I'll, I'll push back instead of hopping. Sometimes in some of the videos you'll see me going up a stair uh, or a step where I'll be hopping on this left foot and, uh, and I've kind of found another way around that. Can you still see? Okay. Well, here's, again, the, I'm going to go back to the hopping way. Sometimes I'll find myself just trying to get, I don't know what it is, just trying to get like a little bit of momentum, and then I'll just push right through there. And then again, I'm just pushing through the heel of my foot and pushing through this palm. And then once I get there, just bring this left leg up, and then I'll try to extend it just a little bit further and push myself back to where my weight is distributed here, and then push there. Now you can see, if you go down, you'll be able to see what it looks like from behind. You'll be able to see that this right foot never gets on the stair completely. It just, it's like half on and half off. This at first was very difficult for me because I, I didn't have any trust. I, I, I didn't believe that my foot would hold it. But over the, you know, the months, it's actually, I've grown accustomed to it and comfortable with it so it doesn't bother me. Now this usually takes me to walk up the stairs, it takes me from anywhere to 7 to 12, 12 minutes, depending on you know, if I'm pushing myself or not. And now, luckily for me, I've never fallen down the stairs, so I'm okay with that. All right, this one here is the tricky one. This is actually one where I actually did fall on my face once and I chipped a tooth. Luckily, I didn't have to go to the dentist or anything. I didn't break anything, but I was struggling with getting up to this position because I can't just shift my weight. And so now you'll see, this is, it can be kind of tricky, so I try to get like sneakers on. With this left foot here, I just try to push down to there. And then you'll see, again, the ankle weakness that we talked about in the last video, you'll see it rolling. You'll see the foot to the side. I can't push through it evenly. And then I just shift my weight to where I can get here and then get up. This is where before my arms gave out and I actually landed with my face on the banister and chipped a tooth. So I've become very mindful of my steps. So that's the first part of the walk of the steps and I'm gonna show you the second part now.